Hey you guys! Okay, so one of my favorite videos of the year, the Sephora Savings Sale event happening. Now this is probably my favorite one because it happens twice a year in the spring and in the fall. This one is the one where it really gets real. It's exciting because you can get a lot of gifts, things for yourself. I have so many new things to show you guys. I always think like, let's go through the whole thing, right? Let's go through the Sephora website. What, what do I like? Let me just name everything that I like. I mean, we'd be here all day. I have some stuff that I'd say, well, just one thing that I would say is very hyped that I didn't love that I tried new recently. Um, a lot of makeup items. Everything that I use today is a part of it which I think is kind of cool. Some eyeshadows that you guys haven't seen and um, just some things that you can really save between, I think, 30% on uh, for the Sephora things, which is some of my favorite makeup brushes and um, just all the way down to like different percentages based on your tier, 20% off if you're, you know, at the highest level, <laughs> if, you're, if you're a shameful Sephora shopper of the highest order, no. Um, all the way down to 10% off, 15% off. Um, I'll put all the info below. I'll put the code below. So this starts on the 27th, which is Friday. Today is, I'm filming this on Thursday, the 26th in the morning. And I'm going to try to get it up tonight because whenever I release these videos, I like to do them the night before so that you can get your cart prepped or at least like even a couple days before. But this, you know, we're back from our trip and I feel like things have just been kind of like crazy. I have, I mean, it was two trips in one with both of our families. So much ensued, so much. It was really fun. I have a, a huge podcast episode. Brad and I um, on our podcast, we broke it all down this week and broke down all of like the current things, uh, books, things that are going on now. You guys know what I'm talking about, but definitely check that out if you haven't. Um, it was kind of like a ha very Halloween themed episode, right? Well, I, I just, okay, let's get into it. I got so many things to share. Uh, before we get started, like I said, I'm going to put all the info and stuff below. I want to talk about this dress. I bought this probably this time last year because when I bought it, it was during the summer. It was too early to wear it, but I bought it specifically for Thanksgiving. And it kind of sat in my closet. I even got one that was similar from Walmart that I showed in a Walmart collaboration last year around this time. Uh, maybe a little later because I remember thinking, oh, these are the perfect holiday dresses. This one is kind of thinner, more like a softer like scuba material, but very comfortable. Has like some, you know, you can put your hands in it like that, little finger holes. Um, I'll stand up and show it to you in a second. But Anyways, you know, I got sort of the same version from Walmart. Of course, that is long gone. They do not have that anymore. It was a little shorter. It was beautiful. And then I was like, well, I don't want to show this one because I like that one too. And then this one was out of stock, you know, and then Thanksgiving rolled around, didn't host it here. And I didn't end up wearing it. This is the first time I've put it on my body since I bought it then. So um, this is really exciting. And I saw it in my closet as I was cleaning out a couple weeks ago. And I was like, you know... I need to wear that, but they don't have that anymore. They have it, you guys, and they have it in two different versions. So, <laughs> I'm just sitting on the floor today. Um, let me get you better situated so you can see. All right, let's just go this way. It's a mess, probably. I ordered some reindeer um, that just came all the time. Okay, this is shameful. I am fully getting into like holiday decor prep mode, okay? Anyways, this is what it looks like. You can see it's very like floor sweeping. I don't have shoes on. If I stood up on my tippy toes, I'm 5'7", and you can see that it's still, um, it, I don't know. It's just, it's very long. Now, I wouldn't mind wearing this around my house with, with heels, whatever, wear it out, whatever you want to do. But um, not around my house, like if you're hosting something at home or, so I wouldn't mind it dragging the floor. Uh, you could certainly get it hemmed, but they do make a shorter version, so that was very exciting. But um, I just want to show you guys how comfy and the fit is just really great of this dress. All right, but back to back to in here. Um, and I'm just, I don't have my good tripod today. I haven't really gotten a lot of stuff out since we got back. So I got this little guy, so that's why we're sitting on the floor. This is comfortable enough to sit in. I don't really know about finger holes. I think they're cool, like as a look. But um, they start always driving me nuts. But I'll we'll see how long I can handle it. So, okay. Sale starts tomorrow. You can get, I think for all tiers, it's the Sephora items, 30% off. And then 
the Rouge, 20% off, and then the VIB is a couple days later for 15%, uh, and then the regular Beauty Insider, if you don't have a Sephora account or you're just at the, like, the lowest tier, you can shop 10% um, off. I'll put the codes below. Uh, the dates, um, again, it depends on your tier. If you're clueless as to what I'm talking about, I'll put a link below. You can go to Sephora, and you can actually join and be a Beauty Insider so that you can take part in the sale. It kind of opens up based on your tier, uh, you know, different days. But tomorrow is where I think most people, I do see when I do these videos, that's the biggest surge of shopping. So a lot of you guys are Rouge Insiders, um, or Rouge members. But just go check it out. You can figure out what your shopping date is. But here's what you do. Before the sale starts, I mean, a lot of you guys are probably watching this on Friday or over the weekend after the sale's already started. But if you're watching this tonight on Thursday, get your cart prepped. And that way you can just check out when the sale is live. So, okay. I mentioned quickly all the Sephora brand things are 30% off no matter what your tier is. And for that, I would say hit the brushes. Sephora has some of the best brushes on earth. And I talked about this for years. So many different brush brands. We've seen them all. We've used them all. Wonderful, okay? There's only so many ways you can make a brush, but yet, for me, I'm very picky. So many different ways, right? Like good ones, bad ones. But a lot of brands are just so redundant to the point where they're even like called the flipping same thing, okay? It's just, it's too much. And I'm like, I like a different brush. I like it when a company does something different. Sephora has such a wide range of brushes that are different types, different shapes. I've always been a fan. I've, I've always told you guys this. This is one of my favorites. And I think I bought it last year during this sale. It's um, the Pro Shadow 10. And it's just the perfect size. I'm gonna show you the eyeshadow that I'm using today um, quickly after this. But this is another Sephora brush I would recommend. It's the Highlight. I've used this for years, nothing better, okay, for powder highlight. Okay, let's get into the eyeshadow quickly and things that I'm wearing. I do have a few items that you guys haven't seen before. The Merit products, okay? This is when you guys wanna pick these up. Now, I have, do have like just a tiny bit of skincare things, but I do have a skincare video. I post photos and people are like, oh my gosh, drop a skincare routine, you're holding out, like whatever, and it's like, I don't, like, I feel like I, and if anything, I put too much stuff, I throw too much at you guys, just know where to look. My YouTube channel, you're here, obviously, you guys know, my LTK, I someone saw my nails in a post, I mean, if you guys follow me on Instagram, all of my beach, mini beach, you know, things that I've been posting, I ran these things in the ground, showing, like, close-ups, someone's like, you know, someone did ask, you know, close-up for the nails, and I posted that, but then, like, I would get DMs where people were like, what, what's going on with your nails? Thought you didn't do your nails. Where's the photos of your nails? Shelby, why are you holding? I'm like, I literally have posted so many. And I'm like, I don't know what to do sometimes. <laughs> like, I'm just like, okay, well, here's the link again. But thanks for insulting me. Um, but they're at their two and a half week point now. And they're still going really well. And I will link to these. Does Sephora sell these? I don't know. Um, but I will link to these exact ones. But they're really good. But my point is, I have a skincare video. I'll link to it below. I don't want to be so redundant here, as I said, just saying like, oh, here's everything from Sephora that I like. I just want to really hit the high points and focus a lot on makeup in this one. So the Merit products I absolutely love, and we'll get to those in a second, but I had not tried their cream shadows, which these I believe were new when I bought them, and I got them in two different colors, and that's all that I'm wearing on my eyes today, the mid-century color, which is the perfect sort of warm, uh, medium brown. I use this brush, which... Huge wreck from Sephora. I, again, weird, well-made, different brushes, okay? Um, amazing. This is a wonderful, just the most perfect cream eyeshadow brush because it's a little tapered. It's tapered, but it's also kind of like, um, it's got like the different, like, kind of the different, I don't want to say duo fiber kind of vibe because it's just so many different fibers where it makes it a little thinner at the top. They're different lengths, so it sweeps it on. Um, I literally just swirl it and I sweep it all over my lid in the crease, okay? There's no special, there's no fancy, um, no fancy ways about it. And then I got this color called Brune, which is slightly darker. And I use the same brush and get that. And then for this one, I start at the outer corner, start at my outer corner at the lash line, sweep it at the lash line and up on the outer corner into the crease. And that's all I do. And it's so easy. And, um, well, of course, we'll do a makeup video soon. 
But these two products, so good, the Mid-Century and the Bruin, but they have different colors and they last really well. I don't use a primer, I just use my Pericone Serum. I don't believe they sell that anymore at Sephora, which is a big old bummer. Um, okay, another thing that you might be noticing, something we've been talking about lately, highlight, okay? This highlight, this Chanel, which they don't sell, this is an exact dupe, it's cheaper, it might be better. So I have the Merit on this side, okay? And I have the Chanel on this side. And what I do is I, and I'm just showing you that, guys this, because I mentioned this in a video recently that there was a dupe for this that I had, and that's what the Merit is, and they sell that at Sephora, so that's what you want. But I take a brush like this, which I'll link to, and I just sweep it on there, and I go like this, from the brow bone, straight down. And when I bought this, I've had a few of these, okay? Years ago, I bought the Chanel stick, and I thought, this is grease, don't like it, because I was into the heavily, like, powdered look, and I thought, oh, I, I need a powder. And I'm not kidding, I get so many compliments whenever I, I mean, you could have, your skin could look not so great, no makeup, whatever, and sweep this on, just, like, put it in those, those areas, and it just gives you that, like, juicy, beautiful look. And I think people are really starting to kind of come around to the fact that matte skin, um, of course, like, I think that's been a while now, like, we're not so into that and the powdered look. People want to use more cream products, or not even cream products, but just products that make your skin look more natural. The thought has always been, they're not going to last as long, I'm going to look like a grease ball, and they're going to break me out. Not the case, okay? This is what makes your skin look younger. I'll be 40 this year, and I feel like my skin is looking good. It's not about wrinkles, it's about your skin texture, the finish, lots of makeup, lots, I want, it isn't the best vibe. If you're like wearing off throughout the day, matting it out, it's not the vibe. You know, when I touch up throughout the day, my vibe is like, I'm not, you know, putting on powder, you're just gonna create more breakouts. It's gonna look, I mean, you might think oh, I'm solving a problem because it's not shiny, but I think skin looks better, younger, when it is shiny, when it is, not shiny, but when it just looks like bouncy and young. If you put like a lot of powders on, um, we're gonna talk about concealer. I've got a concealer trick and something that we make so many mistakes with concealer. Your eye area you might think looks bad or oh, this is what like kind of tells, you know, that <laughs> whatever, um, or looks the worst on my face or whatever. How can I get that area to not look wrinkly or crepey or older? It's about that you're using the wrong tone. Concealer on your eyes shouldn't be super light, and I'll talk about that. Um, but also, just piling on all of these products and the matte, that is make, that is, that's aging your skin. Physically, I mean, the powders are terrible for your skin. Um, but just visually, it's not good, okay? Um, so when I touch up, I love to use this product. It's the serum stick. Um, I put it on my finger, dab it under my eye here. And it's really, really nice. I'm super breakout prone, so it's not about oily skin. It's not about dry skin. You can use products that have good, natural, glowy finishes that will last, that will hold up. It's about the product formula, not the finish, okay? I think for so long we've been so backwards in that mindset because that's what we knew in the 90s or the 2000s or the 80s. You know what I'm saying? It's like we got to get over that. So, okay. So that's the vibe, okay? That's what you want to do. But... And then I'll get to another product that I like to touch up with too. But I was so scared of, of this Chanel. I was like, it's, it's greasy, it's shiny. And it's really not. It's just beautiful. You know, you get that shine. Um, you get that shine. You, this area is like nice and moisturized. But it's just really beautiful. And this had a resurgence recently with Sophia Ritchie. talked about this. And that's a whole thing. And so that's, you know, that's new because she said it, right? Um... And so this was hard to find for a while. And I bought this one, and this is the Merit in Kava. Same exact product, same vibe, same formula, same finish. When I swatch the two, we talk about dupes all the time. You can always tell a tiny bit of a difference. This is identical. You can't even determine the difference. And you can grab this one at a discount. And that is just my favorite brand. I just, I love the Merit stuff because I can actually, with my skin being breakout prone, I can use these stick products. I can use the stick bronzer and the cream blush and they don't have the waxes, the coconut oils, the things that will break you out and clog your pores, which 
is so rare to find not in a stick, okay? Um, we've talked about this before, the bronzing and contouring sticks. I just, they're just so easy, you guys. This is the shade Clay, and when I'm a little less tan, this is the color, but my perfect color is Sane, S-E-I-N-E, -E, and I just ran out of that. So I've been trying to use this one. It is a tad light for me, but the best product. I love it so much. And um, to the merit, the, the blushes, okay? They have got a set that I am ordering tomorrow because I ain't no sucker, okay? I'm not ordering this before. I will show you it after I get it, but I have these in three different colors. Um, and I used to have the Beverly Hills, but I lost it. I got it a long time ago, and I, I think I left it somewhere. But um, I have the Cheeky, which is this one, which I think is my favorite. I have um, the Stockholm, which is a little more pink, and I have Fox, which is more like of a brown. Like, I can just wear that on its own, like a brush and bronzer, bronzer and everything. These are amazing. The Cheeky is perfect. That's what I'm wearing today. Okay. Um, this is another Merit product that is amazing. Talking about touching up. And at the beach and stuff, like, I wouldn't put, like, a full face of foundation on. This is great just to use uh, in the daytime. I mean, whenever. You know, you're getting ready in a hurry. It is... Oh, it's opening the wrong end. It's the Merit Minimalist Foundation Stick. Again, nothing that's going to break you out. Put it on just where you need it. Blend it. Use a beauty blender, whatever. But this comes with me everywhere I go. In my purse, I have this, a lip gloss, and, like, some blotting powders and that little serum stick. And, you know, during the day, you might look at yourself, don't add powders, don't add other, put a little bit on my finger and just touch it up where I need it. And it's perfect. It, like, gives you just, when you touch up with it, it's like, ooh, yeah, like, it gives you such a lift, you know? Really makes a big difference. But it's also great on its own if you want to use that, like, as just your regular foundation. Um, so let's keep going. Okay, another brush. Uh, this is another brush by this brand, the Westman. This is the one. I talked about that I use with my cream products. I've used this for powders too, and it's lovely. This is wonderful. It's kind of like a flat brush, and I use this. I really like this for powders, you know, kind of like when you're using like a bronze shade to put like on your lid or all over. It's just really nice. So I'm going to buy a few more of those. Not the same ones, but, you know, maybe try some different ones that they have. Um, let's talk about foundations quickly. These two are my favorite, of course, the Lancome Tinny Dull Ultra Wear and the Luminous Silk. Uh, of course, like getting a little more tan, like this is slightly a little light for me now. So I'm going to go back to this in a month or so, but this is the best. And then I really love this. The shade I'm using now is 5.75. My usual shade of this is either four and a half or five, but this is what I like in a foundation. Okay. I do have oily skin, but I'm also like aging and I'm addressing, like, I don't want to dry out my skin and I don't want to break out because I'm super breakout prone. These two are amazing. They're that vibe of like, excellent coverage thin okay that's what I love this has always been like my H like holy grail foundation you know it's thin it's so much coverage same with this one this one is the most identical to this I've ever tried um perfect glow flawless foundation it's amazing so if you're gonna pick up a foundation grab one of these guys you know there's foundations that are so pricey and those are but they're not like I mean, I saw a foundation the other day that was like $80 or something. I'm like, oh my God, like you, these are better. Um, and then for, for concealer, I got sucked into this a while back, the House Labs, okay? The Lady Gaga stuff. Now, I've heard excellent things about the foundation, but again, I have the Armani Luminous Silk in like three different shades. I've got the Lancome, and I that gets old. And I'm not throwing my money into like a bin and using it a couple times, letting it rot, and then like, what, two years from now I'm gonna use it and be using old foundation? No. So I really try not to buy too many foundations, but I've heard excellent things about the House Lab foundations, but I also heard really excellent things about this concealer, and the ratings for this concealer is like through the roof. It says it's deep puffing, anti-aging, it's got lots of moisturizing, you know, things, um, has caffeine in it, all this stuff. The shade range is really good. It runs very light, okay? So I ended up getting a shade that was a little too light, returned it, I got this one, and this one's still way too light, but, um, this one's still a little light, but I want to say, you might think, oh, let's do the, the, um, under eye concealer in a lighter shade. That's what we always used to do. And I think that's what we kind of think about doing. That's going to aid you so much. Just try it. Do an experiment. Use a light concealer, blend it in and think, and then look back at your, it's just not good. You, it, you're better off with a darker concealer 
and I'm not talking about piling on all the color correcting things. If you've got really dark circles, then try that, then do a concealer that actually matches your skin tone, not lighter over it. But this actual formula, I did not like. I love a moisturizing concealer under my eyes. I use eye cream under my eyes every day. I never have my um, mascara creep down. I'll, every time I wear this, I look at my eyes at the end of the day and I've got like a big, or like not even at the end of the day, I catch myself in the mirror in the house and it's crept down. And so I'm like, it's, it's not the mascara, it's the same mascara I've been wearing for years, you know, the better than sex, which is great. And I live in the South in the humidity, I actually do active things outside, wear that and it doesn't run. So then I used, I went back to my same, my old concealer, it didn't do that. This is like so, I don't know what it is, it's a little, it's thick, so when you apply it, I don't like how it blends. Um, I mean, I didn't notice like a lot of depuffing or anything, it was fine. Um, color correcting, sure. But even if I would have had a darker color, I didn't like the formula. And it really accentuated and settled into my fine lines even before I was done with my makeup. This never does that. This is what you want. And I use the shade 5.25 in this. I need to get another one, so I'm going to be ordering this. Um, it's the Luminous Silk Concealer. Nothing compares to this. If you've never tried it, do yourself a favor and get you some, but don't get it too light, okay? That's the biggest thing. You might think like, oh, like you're all highlight. I'm not. I, I use darker concealer under my eyes, and then I'll do like a concealer in a light color or put like something, just dot it here, which is what I do with this. This is also an amazing concealer. It's the Lancome Tenny Dull Ultra Wear. If I had this in a darker shade, I would definitely use this under my eyes. It's very similar to the Luminous Silk. But the Luminous Silk, I stick just under my eyes, and then this is like what I put here, like just right there. Do not creep that light color past where your circle line is, okay? Put it here, and then just touching that line, dab it out. And then this is also what I use on like breakouts or any little things that I need to conceal, and it will last until you wash it off. This is serious stuff. It's so good. Okay. A few more things. Oh, I have one more Merit thing. This is a really good brow product. So I am loyal to my like $2 e.l.f. brow pencil. Today I did not use that. All I used today was this product. But what I've been using mostly is either this or this. This is, I think it's the 1980s brow gel. Is that what it's called? It's called 80s something. Volumizing pomade. I forgot. Anyways, it's in brown. And this is just like an everyday, nice, dry, sort of fluffy, you know, kind of evens your brows and keeps them in place in a very soft way. This is good. I've had it for a while. This is a little more heavy duty and it's a little darker. That's all I have on my brows today. It's the Reefy or Reefy. I don't know what it is. In brow tint and medium brown. And this stuff is like, your brows will stay put. It's one of those things like you wash your face at the end of the night or the next morning and you still got your brows on you know and they're still like in place like you have to scrub them off but if you want like more of a you know like brow look this is good because it really kind of gets them up and going because mine I like to kind of oh, oh my gosh I would never comb them up here please can we stop doing that can we please stop doing that I watched the last season of um oh what's it called the dating show Love Island USA and there was a girl she was gorgeous but every she would, even the narrator at one point was like whoa like she would just and it's like I know that's a trend and it's good to do a little but it's just my sister used to do that to me when I was in the pool like when I was a kid because I my eyebrows okay you think they're no like I this is them like damaged and plucked to hell and back because when I was I mean I graduated high school in 2002 you know the era okay we had like Paper, like brows were just nothing. Brows were like a line. That was the goal. And that's just not what I was working with. Okay, they grew down to here and touched in the middle and were just crazy. And I over plucked them and they were a mess. Okay, so to even have what I have is amazing. But I had long brows. Okay, and I still have to, that's the thing, I have to trim them because they get wild. But I would be in the pool and I'd go like, my sister would go like that. And then I started doing that. That was like my party trick in the pool, you know. I'd do that and then I'd come up and people would be like, ah! But that's what it looks like to me. But we need to do it a little. But let's not go nuts. But I do have to kind of comb them up and this keeps them, okay, this keeps them stood up. But this is all I'm using today. So two good brow products. I will link to those. Um, I did get, oh, let me talk about the, uh, 
I'll talk about the, the eyeshadow in a second. Speaking of house labs, though, I really like these products. Now, we are going back to a nude lip, okay? Again, Sophia Ritchie did a video. I saw a clip of this because someone, like, had memed it and they were making fun of it. But, um, is that right? They memed it. <laughs> I don't see with the times. Um, and she was like, guys, now you're going to do this. And at the end, this is the trick. You're just going to take a little bit of concealer and then pop it on. I'm like... And then it showed like this other girl that was sitting there and she had like the concealer lips that we did. Oh my gosh, that was like high school and college, like the concealer lips. Oh my gosh, but that's terrifying. What's old is new again. And guys, they have reinvented the wheel. But let me tell you, that's not what we're doing. We are not going back to that. And please for the love, don't use concealer. Um, but we want like a nude that's not scary. And these are the perfect, I mean, this is the perfect nude, which I'll talk about. I've loved that for years. But these are very good. So today I used this one. Um, it's the House Labs Monster Lip Crayons. And I use the Light Peony Matte. That's what I use. And what I like about it is that it's like, when you get them, they're sharp. But then they just turn into kind of like, they look like a shade stick or like a eyeshadow stick or a caviar stick. They just start looking like that. And there's a sharpener in the end. These sharpeners, I don't know. I don't really need them to be like super sharp. But you just, you can use them as lip liner and then you color them in and I like the formula. So I really did enjoy that. This one's slightly darker and it is the Rose Matte. Um, that one I haven't used as much, but these are good. I, they come in a bunch of different colors, so those might be something fun to try. But the lip color that I used today, because I really didn't fill my lips in much with this, I just used it as a liner today. Um, and a little bit in the middle, but the color that you, but the color that you see on my lips is this, and it's the Charlotte Tilbury Very Victoria. We've talked about this for years. This is probably my favorite lipstick of all time. It is the perfect. I mean, it looks darker when you see it sold or like in the tube even, but it is the perfect nude. So many times you get these nudes and they're too pink, they're too peach, they're bright, they're too brown, or they're too light. I don't know, too nude. This one is so good. And it's just the perfect tone. And I think it would work with most every skin tone. If you're much darker than I am, then it'll be kind of like a lighter look, obviously, but the perfect nude. And then, and then talking about lip glosses, these are just my favorite. I mean, I love the Buxom, that's always a good one, but I really have fallen in love with these, the Lawless Forget the Filler. And this is the color Annie which I didn't put any lip gloss on today, but I will. But my very favorite one, if you're going to buy any, which I'm going to be buying tomorrow, is Glazed. This one's a little, like, reminds me of that Mac Oyster Girl from back in the day. But again, I think that's what's coming back. Like the nude, you know, kind of shiny, I don't know, pearly, frosted, dare we say. Okay. Um, and then, okay, a few more things. The Iconic Glow Drops, that's what I'm wearing today. I did not use my stick bronzer because I want to get the same one again. This is the clay, and it's, again, a little too light for me. But this is what I used, and this is the Iconic Drops in Glow. And I just dab a little here, blend it with my Beauty Blender, dab a little here. It's so easy, here and here. And it couldn't be easier. I put a little on the side of my nose. But this is beautiful. I love that. And, again, really good ingredients. Um, this eye cream, the Cryo Recovery Ice Awake. If you're prone to puffiness, this is amazing. And it is really moisturizing and nice. It's got like a metal tip and um, it, it's always really cold. Like, and I don't keep it in the fridge or anything, but when you use it, it's, it's so cold and it really does take care of puffiness. So I love that. Grab this spray. Do they sell? The yes, they sell this there. Okay, I'll cut this out if they don't. Sometimes I'll recommend things. I'm like, wait a minute, they don't sell that there. Um, this is amazing. The Tower daily rescue facial spray it has hydrochloric acid in it so if you've got like redness or if you've got like anything like itching or irritated on your skin or you just got this will take care of the redness it's such a good like refreshing spray that's not like i don't know it's actually doing something you know i think some of these toners are just like or face sprays especially are just like what but that one's so good Okay, a few more things. The Donna Karen Cashmere Mist deodorant they have there. I love this. It's kind of a cult favorite thing, but recently I mentioned the aluminum free version, which I picked up. I think I tried it about a year, or I bought it about a year ago, and didn't really get into it until maybe like six months ago. I really started like using it, loved it. Of course, used that up, 
And I had some of these from the Nordstrom sale. I'm like, I, I just want to use up the regular ones, which the regular ones, if you love it in a purse sprint, nothing compares so good. It's just like a comforting, like creamy smell. It's just a beautiful deodorant. But the aluminum free one for a natural deodorant actually works. It is amazing because I'm very sensitive to a lot of natural deodorants. Um, a lot of the essential oils will like literally burn my armpits. Um, the baking soda is usually very irritating. If you get like that red, you know, it's just, it's not good, but that one didn't do that. So I'll link to that, the aluminum free. I'm going to buy a couple of those. Okay. If you're going to get eyeshadows, we already talked about these because this is what I was wearing, the Merit. I just love their packaging too. They're just so chic and beautiful, but I talk about this all the time. I could get rid of all my eyeshadow palettes and just honestly love this one. It's the Illy Warm Nude and um, I have... They're just so good. This is just the best palette. Nothing compares. Love it so much, okay? Um, but I did get sucked into this a while back. I'm like, dang it, it's so expensive. I should have waited for the sale. But I haven't used it much, but I was always so curious about these Patrick Ta eyeshadow palettes. And this is the Major Dimension 3. And all of these colors are beautiful. I love that it's got the warms on the top, the cools on the bottom. A lot of times um, makeup palettes kind of I don't want to say miss with that because you only got so many and you don't want to do go too crazy you know like mixing up the warms and the cools but I do think you get a better look sometimes if you do have a mix of the two and there's two creams on the end in most of I think in all of these palettes where like they're meant to be cream shadows and I thought are these liners because these are very dark and I haven't used them yet I've only used the powders but whoa yeah okay so you can use those and that can be kind of like a base. I would probably use them like as a, maybe like to smudge out your liner or as a liner itself. But again, this is just something I'm gonna show you if you're curious about it, haven't gotten into it much, haven't used, again, like haven't even, hadn't even dipped my finger into these creams. But I have used the powders, um, a few of them, just to create a look similar to this. And these are soft. These are soft, soft eyeshadows, okay, beautiful but they don't fall out, which is very good. A lot of soft eyeshadows are just a little scary to use. You might think, wow, this is really great, but then it's, they end up more on your face than on your eyes. Um, but I really did like the finish of those. I mean, those are all mattes, you know, but they're like a, like, a, like a satiny, beautiful matte. They don't look chalky on, you know, they look really good, but they're very smooth. I don't know if you're an eye palette lover or you're looking for something like this. It might be fun to try, especially with a discount because I don't, I can't believe I bought that because I was like, that's so pricey. And I just, I've gotten in a phase, not even a phase, but the last several years, you know, I really stick with what I like and I've tried so many things and I say like, we have found truly the good stuff. Doesn't mean don't try new things. We're more selective about what we're trying. We're not willy nilly like grabbing every palette that comes out, like just the good ones, right? And so... I just haven't really bought a lot of that kind of stuff. So when you do see me show something, you know, okay, not that, oh, it's great because I'm showing it, but I guess just from a more like selective approach that I've taken, okay, that sounded way too, way more intense than it actually is. But you know what I mean? I think it's important. I'm suggesting things. It's a big deal. You guys are going to spend money. I don't take that lightly. Um, I don't take it lightly what I spend money on and put on my skin. And I would certainly not recommend crap or just have this like, oh, let's just talk and buy everything. It's silly, you know. We're not silly. We, we really just go for the good things. And then a couple more things. Um, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite um, pro hair tool ever, okay. I don't even dry my hair most days. But the next day if I'm going to do, you know, my hair up where I have maybe like a few little strands out that I want to curl or just running it through my whole hair you know this is the best it's the t3 and i will link to this exact size it's the perfect size if you've got short hair or long hair you don't need a million different products a million different overpriced you know wraps and the dyson and the this and the that i mean sure you, you like what you like you can get a good effect with anything but i just think sometimes just a good old curling iron is i mean nothing better and that one is really nice and um, 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 oh, and then I didn't bring it down. I keep it. I mean, it is religiously. I use this thing every single night and I attribute this to my skin texture, to clarity, to fading, um, like dark spots, keeping my skin clear, fine lines, an LED device. And when I bought my LED mask, probably three, four years ago at the Nordstrom sale, which I will link to the exact one that I have, 
people like I think it was kind of a more of a woo-woo thing when I bought it I was like why did I do this like this is so silly it's a thing it's proven LED light works that device is amazing they've even improved that particular one that I have because they've improved the strap um, so and I told a friend this I was like you know a friend that's you know she's we take each other's advice, you know, she buys things that, you know, I suggest, or she'll ask me about, like, skincare stuff, and she'll splurge here and there on things, but I do see her splurging on things, but she won't buy this dang LED mask, and I'm like, you could buy this and literally, like, cheap out on everything else. Like, it's so good. Not that I'm saying just don't care about your skincare, but using that thing nightly really makes a difference, okay? And it's got red light and blue light and then a mix. So I get in bed at night, I put it on, I do the red light, it goes for three minutes. I do the blue light, it goes for three minutes. And then the red and the blue, if I have time or if I'm just, you know, still relaxing, it's like whatever. Sometimes I'm over it and I just go through the red and then the blue. It's a good six minutes. Um, if you want to do it one more time, the red and the blue. But I just, I go through all of the settings every night. It has lasted. I've recharged it a million times. It's never done anything funky. It's a good, good product. So um, that one, the lights stay strong over the years. I know there's so many brands you see, oh, which is the best one? The one that kind of wraps or this one is very contoured to your face like a mask. Um, you know, and it's like, is LED light, LED light? Yeah, however many lights are in the mask. This one has a ton of lights. And again, I love that it does the blue light too for acne. Um, but I really do feel like that's a good one. I'm sort of like hunching, but I, I like I'm sitting like this. Um, that's a good one and really, really makes such a difference in your skin. The red light is for anti-aging, producing collagen and keeping your fine lines, you know, really helps with fine lines and stuff like that. And kind of, um, I think you're like healing your skin, like fading dark lines or dark spots and stuff. And then the blue light is, I love it because it's for acne it kills the bacteria in your skin before acne can even like start. And if you do have a breakout, it really, really kind of zaps it faster. So it's an amazing product. If you care, and, and I see people that love to shop at Sephora that care about skincare that will, and, it's not, and it is expensive. So it's not even about the price that they're like, oh, it's too expensive. But these people will spend like a lot on a moisturizer. They will spend more than that on just like makeup and this and that. But this is something you're going to have for years and years, like forever, hopefully, that will actually make a difference. Um, that's actually going to like do something for your skin texture and your skin quality. Can't say enough good things about the LED masks. And I really hope that they have that exact one. Um, if not, I guess I'll cut this part out because I remember one year they didn't have it. I think they do have it. But oh my gosh, guys, get that now at a discount. If you have fragrances that you love, it's a good time to get it. Anything that you ever replenish, like um, any kind of serum, moisturizer, you know, those little peel pads or anything that you're going to buy a lot of, get it now. And gifts. I mean, so many cute gift sets. There's a little set of those Laneige, like, lip masks. I ended up giving Livy one of mine a while back, and she likes to use it at night. And so I'm going to get her a set of those to put in her stocking. And then the Merit blushes. I was shocked to see that they had this set of three where you can try a bunch of different, um, a bunch of different ones. Grab that. That is in my cart. I'm going to get another concealer. And um, I don't know. It's you know, maybe a few more brushes or something. But I just really wanted to come on here, share my recs as I always do. But um, also talk about some things that I've really been loving lately. We are kind of overdue for a favorites. And now that we're toward the end of the year, should I just wait and do like a best of the year? Um, I might do something soon, like things that I'm into and have it be like clothes and a bunch of different things. Uh, we'll do like a get ready with me soon, as I do every now and then just with the products that I'm using. You know, we used to do makeup tutorials every week, 15 years ago, 10 years, you know, all these years ago. And it's like at a certain point, I, I've just over the last several years, I just show you my actual look that I'm doing. You know, I don't want to see and I don't really like seeing like, oh, this is my crazy green look or this is my look for this or that or oh, I bought this palette let me do a look with it and it's like but that's not what you're wearing every day you know I want to see what someone's wearing every day they're tried and true and so when I do a video like a makeup video or I take time to show you guys like a makeup tutorial or a routine it's what I'm actually using these little finger holes are making me use my hands a lot it's kind of cool um I don't know what it is but 
So that's why I don't do it every week or even super often. Or when you do see it, it's like, is that the same one she did before? It might be a few different products, but it's what works and it's like good stuff. So, um, well, then we might do one of those soon. Uh, but let me know what you guys want to see coming up. We have so many fun plans. Definitely join our podcast if you haven't. By now, so many of you guys have. We have so much fun over there. Um, it's on Patreon, so it is a subscription. It's $5 a month. I don't hawk merch. I've never sold anything. I've done videos here for free for 15 years. It's totally different content than you get here. It's my husband and I. We talk about marriage, struggles, good times, bad times, fun times, funny times. It is funny. It is deep. Uh, we have laughed. We have cried. We have anything that you're curious about. It's all there from deep, everything deep about every everything that we've done that you've ever been like curious about not that we're the interesting I'm like oh let me tell you about that but just our takes on like things that are happening in real life I had a story about an experience about the golden bachelor personally I have a story about we knew when the Vanderpump Rules stuff was going on we knew when you know I think they just announced today about like Dorit and Pika we talked about that before it happened like it's not that I'm saying like we know things but I'm just saying we are such like pop culture like junkies and Brad brings a good perspective. I bring a good perspective. Uh, we're going on our, we've completed two years of it. Um, it's just really fun. And I'm not trying to like sell you guys on it because we're good and I like our community. Um, but if you're unsure about it, that's what it is. Uh, we do an episode a week. It's usually, a, a, religiously, we do it every Wednesday. Every now and then we might like sprinkle in something different like to post there that we don't post anywhere else. Um, and the episodes are usually over an hour and a half long. People really enjoy it. I mean, we've never, people that join stay, and if they do leave, they always come back. <laughs> but um, but it's really fun. And uh, you can, we do have like an RSS thing, like where you can listen to it in any podcast platform. We do it through Acast too. I mean, it's a whole thing, like where you can, you know, listen to it anywhere where you listen to your regular podcast. But if you search it like on Apple Podcasts or somewhere like that, you're not going to find it. You have to join it through Patreon and then you'll get the feed where you can listen to it anywhere you want. So um, like in any anywhere, like you just put your RSS link in, which is easy. But OK, at this point, I'm rambling. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Uh, we have so many updates coming. I was speaking of skin and stuff. I still haven't gotten Botox, and I said I wasn't going to do it until around Thanksgiving because I was giving my Nira laser the 90-day challenge or whatever. Um, but you guys, I don't know if I'm going to – I mean, I haven't gotten the itch to do it. And I hadn't gotten Botox since the beginning of this year. And it wears off in three months, so it's long gone. Um, but usually you do it like between – usually I do it like three months or five or six months even sometimes. But I have not done that. So we will have an update coming up, um, I guess, later November with that. Of course, all the holiday stuff you can't see. Oh, maybe you can. Oh, my gosh. Can you see my tree stand back there? Listen, the tree's not up yet. Don't be alarmed. Um, in this room, at least. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Okay. This is so, so shameful. But we kind of were organizing our Halloween or our Christmas things, and Brad brought up the tree box. There's fully... There she is. Okay. It's shameful, I know. But, no, I'm so excited. I cannot wait. So we're going to get into all that holiday prep, maybe, you know, things that I bought now, things that um, I'm excited about. So maybe my next video, I'll show you guys a few fun holiday things I'm kind of starting to prep with, things that I bought, things to get now rather than just showing. Of course, I do my tour every year, but rather than showing you my tour and then being like, okay, well, now it's too late, you know, not too late, but like um, I might show you guys kind of what I'm doing now because usually I don't share the tours until like the first of December, but do you guys feel that the um, the climate is changing a little with the whole like judgy about Christmas early decorating? I feel like everybody's talking about that now. It's like, oh, I'm gonna just put my tree up before Halloween, and oh, it's like, it's funny how that happens. Um, you're either like <laughs> crucified for like putting your things up early, or it's like what everybody's doing, and I guess it's okay, right? But no, I say do what you want to do. Put it up as early as you want. Have fun. Have a party. Like, let's let's get into it. So, you guys, I love you so much. Thank you for joining me. I can't shut up. I just I feel like I haven't talked to you in so long because I literally haven't. I hadn't filmed a video since before our trip. But had our podcast for all of that, all the breakdown of that, and um, had to Sephora to take part in the shopping event because you don't want to miss it. So, hope you guys found some good things in this one, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.